Hey guys and welcome back to No Bland Makeup where we do makeup and body paint tutorials usually with a cosplay twist and today we're doing something like that. <laughs> I'm showing you guys how to do the Philadelphia Eagles logo for the Super Bowl but before I do that I have a shop open on Teespring so if you guys want to support the channel get a cool t-shirt I'll have the link down in the bottom but back to what you're actually here for. <laughs> so I had to actually do this a couple times because I couldn't figure out how to proportion it right that's gonna be the main I wouldn't say issue but the main kind of um, once you get the proportions down for this it'll be a lot easier the other um, team logos that I've done have been like attached to my eyeliner or something but just like the Eagles fans this was no it, it this one's either go big or go home I could not shrink it down and still make it look cool so this is what she got. So what I started off by doing is drawing the outline of everything that's going to be going on and then I wound up filling everything else in and doing all the details later. I tried to do it the other way um, to do the outline last and then you know start with all the colors but that was not happening at all like seriously. So start by doing the outline obviously since this is a thing that exists already you definitely want to look at a picture I was staring at it hardcore <laughs> no shame in that none at all besides Eagles fans are kinda rabid and I don't want to make them mad <laughs> I did have to go back and erase a couple lines because they weren't working with the way everything else was. Um, so if you have to do that, water or makeup remover is going to be your best friend. <laughs> I also started coloring in some of the black areas. Um, any lines that were going to be a little bit thicker, I started doing that. And yes, I know this looks super weird, but once it's done, it actually looks like a bird and that's all that matters so go ahead and fill in all your darker lines anything that needs to be more boldened out you're gonna do that first and then you're gonna go in and do a little bit more of the detail work and the colors now for the eye that one definitely you want to take your time with um, just because if you mess this up, it will be extremely noticeable. Um, so my best advice for anybody who wants to try this is get a very thin um, either paintbrush or eyeliner brush. Take your time because like I said, if you mess this part up, it's extremely noticeable. Um, and there's a lot of detail that actually goes into it. And that's not even including the colors that need to go around. So. And for anybody who's curious, this took me about 20 minutes to do once I figured out what I was doing. In total, messing up two times before this, it took about like maybe 40 minutes altogether. But once you get the kind of a good groove on what you're actually doing, it you can do this in no time. Now originally I started going in with um, some white paint, but then I decided about five seconds after that, hey, you should probably do the gray paint because then if you do the gray too thick, you can always cover it with white. Oh my god. <laughs> so that's what I wound up doing, um, especially for more like the feathers at the end where it's kind of like... Um, like little pieces of white that are going into the gray and some of those were a little bit thin um, and I didn't leave myself a lot of room to do that so this kind of helped when it came to editing and adjusting what you've already done so for me that wound up being a lot of it a lot of it <laughs> well yeah a lot of it it wound up being a lot of it easier um, if you feel like doing it the other way is a little bit easier more power to you. Now 
Then once I was done with the gray, I went back in with the white and filled basically everything else in with white. Um, for this and with the gray, you do want to be careful that you don't go too much over um, the black lines that you already did. Granted, you can go back over them afterwards. That's why it's a little bit easier if you do the colors first and then the outlines, but for me, apparently I don't like making my life less difficult. What can I say? It's a curse to be this awesome. <laughs> And then for probably the easiest part of this entire thing, you just outline everything else in a dark green. On Google, it said like midnight green, but I figured dark green would work too because I've seen some eagle stuff and it's a dark green to me. Please don't kill me. <laughs> but like I said, go ahead and outline everything in that dark green. Also, don't forget the eyeball. That is mildly important. But that's what it should look like. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to see what comes out of my channel next. And let me know in the comments who you think is going to win the Super Bowl this year. And if you're watching this video, I sincerely hope for your sake that it's the Eagles. <laughs> but I'll see you guys next time. Bye!